under the debris of collapsed neighborhoods, buildings that once housed first-generation children, the cooking of tortillas, tamales, frijoles, but are now replaced with white rice and Asian dishes, and great white sharks with porcelain smiles. Still, under yielded walls and ceilings, I find her. My name is Thea Matthews. I'm a poet, spoken word artist, and curator. I've served as a creative communications instructor, teaching youth uh, ways to creatively communicate uh, through poetry, writing, journaling, what have you. And as a poet, spoken word artist, I'm like, okay, poetry plus activism equals poetivism. My name is Susan Cervantes, and I am a muralist, and I'm also founding director of Procedure Eyes Mural Arts Center. Painting is my passion, and that's what I've been able to share with the community through collaborative mural uh, process. I've been doing murals for over 40 years, and I believe that it represents and is in inclusive of all people and that that is what we offer to uh, make changes and transformation in the community. I love artivism. I love it deeply and profoundly because it's art plus activism equals artivism. It's the uh, intention of utilizing art as a way to activate, right? As a way to invoke emotion, invoke change, invoke action, you know, from the viewer, the reader, that participant, as well as the one who's creating the art, too. You know, there's a lot of individuals, there's some that really have issues and want to, you know, promote a cam you know, their own per personal campaign for s issues. It could be gentrification, it could be violence, you know, in the community. There's a lot of things like that, but they also, when I go into a community, they want to see what we can do to make the world better as well. I think it gives us an opportunity to find solutions for those issues that we have right now. And they can be resolved in the process of mural making. Well, I would just like to see people having more tolerance of each other, respectful of each other, understanding their, their differences and what they have in common, respecting each other's culture. I think there's a lot to, to learn from each other. And if you give people that opportunity, we, will, we could all coexist. Being a poetivist, it's very much important because, you know, taking a step back and from my experience as an activist, uh, you know, I've come to realize I don't necessarily think or believe that a law can dismantle hate, that a law or policy can dismantle fear, or that a law or policy can dismantle, you know, different forms of toxic perspectives that hurt others and hurt, you know, yourself. Like, I don't think a law can do that. However, I do think that poetry in any form of art can. I believe art can dismantle hate, can dismantle fear, can dismantle all forms of injustice, and can help shift, or it can help provide a paradigm shift that we're all searching for. And I whisper, I am here, Mahita, my little daughter inside. I watched her battles thaw with the sun on her fingertips, the stars she blew for wishes, the crown of light her black frizzled curls molded, resembling a moon of a dandelion. I turn her on her side, pat her back as she coughs up old debris, vomiting up twisted, suffocating serpents, hollowed eye sockets, malevolent tongues she's been choking on for years. Now flap like fish out of water beside her, she breathes stops holding her breath, inhales a newfound trust from the love I give her. And together we exhale, together we breathe, together we walk in reunion, for she is mine and mine alone. No one can have her. Mm.